Alright, what's up gamers? I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Um, today we, again, on a Thursday video, we're going to do something a little bit different than we're used to. Um, so, I hope you guys are excited. We will still be having a energy drink review today. We will be doing Game Fuel by Mountain Dew. This one is the Charged Berry Blast. Let me see if I can get it in focus of the webcam. Anyways, this is the blue version of Game Fuel, and one thing that's interesting about all Game Fuel cans is they have this resealable opener, which is really cool, so I can pop this thing open this way. So you can tell that it hasn't been opened because there's like a little ribbon across the top, but as soon as I open it, the ribbon breaks. Oh, oops, I should show you. The ribbon breaks. I pull the tab up and then I slide it back so now I drink from over here and if I want to close it I just slide it back down Oops. and then I can pop that thing back shut so it's a resealing soda can it's really cool alright now just like last week I'm gonna be doing something on my computer however it won't be Hopefully not as boring, but maybe a little bit just as intellectually stimulating. This is a video game called uh, Human Resource Machine. I actually played this game for the first time um, at my internship over the summer. And it's kind of like coding. It's a like sort of like bitwise coding, like uh, assembly language type coding game. So I already started a uh, game the other day, but we're going to start completely new. And we will play as the, we'll go as the green employee. Heck yeah. So we just got our employee ID. So our first day, we're going to be working in the mail room. Your first year, I should say. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. So, drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So there are one, two, three things from the inbox. So I'm going to grab the first thing, put it in the outbox, grab the second thing, put it in the outbox, and grab the third thing and put it in the outbox. Now let's see how this goes. Oh wow. So there we go, we just got the first level, first year done. I, if you noticed, I took a sip of this drink. It is very berry. It's like a, like, it's really sweet and sugary. Well, it feels like it's really sugary. And it's got super, like, berry flavor, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not, like, super unique in its flavor, but it's just very powerful in its flavor, which is pretty nice. So let's go on to the next level. Busy mailroom. Well, it looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here is your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox. But you get a new command. You can use the jump uh, arrow to jump different uh, lines within your program. With this new ability you complete the assignment using only three commands. Alright, so it looks like we have a lot more things. And we're gonna inbox, outbox, and jump. This is sort of like a loop in coding. And I can just jump all the way back up to just repeat the first two commands over and over. So there's a slider to make you go faster. So I'm just gonna boost boost our speed a little bit. Alright, moving on. Copy floor. Year three. Oh no. The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. So here we ignore the inbox and we just need to 
send the following three letters to the out box and we get this new copy from ability. So we're going to try this copy from. I'm going to choose four, send it to the out box. Then we did the use of copy from, yep, zero. Send that to the out box. Next we need copy from three. Oops, copy from three. And we'll send that to the out box as well. Let's run it. Bug. This game fuel has really helped me get through the game, if you know what I'm saying. The Scrambler Handler. The conveyor system is fixed this year, and just in time for you to get it to work. The data won't collate itself. So now we need to grab the first two things from the inbox, drop them into the outbox in reverse order, and repeat until the inbox is empty. Now we have a copy to command, so uh, we're going to take from the inbox. We have to reverse the order, so I'll copy this to share zero. Then I'll get the second thing from the inbox and outbox it. Then I'll copy from zero. Yep, and I will outbox that. And then I'll just repeat that over and over again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. Copy time. So I'm not really sure if there's a plot to this game, but this is sort of like a cutscene. Everyone's drinking coffee. I like the music on that part. Um, it's pretty intense for such a random tidbit of information. We'll just do a couple more levels. Maybe we'll finish out this yellow line. Rainy summer, year six. Ugh, welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I only have three fingers on each hand. <laughs> but I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the add in the outbox. Then we have this add command. So we'll inbox copy to zero, and we'll inbox and add zero and outbox. Then we'll just loop that. So inbox zero, inbox add outbox. Oh yeah, inbox zero. Let's just speed this up. Get this out of here. Boom, year six, next floor. We are going to stick with the yellow. The tripler room. Who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. Uh oh. <laughs> is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. You need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will about be evaluated with extra scrutiny. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the result. Self-improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high-level decisions to management. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're inbox, copy to zero, and we'll add to zero, and then add again, and then we'll out box and just loop that. So let's see how this goes. So copy to double triple outbox. Copy to double triple outbox. Boom. Speed this up. I think we got it. Alright, how's the performance looking? Six commands or fewer. Done. 24 steps. Done. Let's go. Boom, we got both of those. Oh, wow. Ooh, looks like I can do this one a little bit better. Octo plier suite. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self improvement? 
Finishing in the inbox, multiply it by 8 and put the result in the outbox. Using a bunch of add commands is easy but wasteful. Can you do it using only three add commands? Management is watching. So inbox, we're going to multiply it by 8. Okay. We can copy this to 0 and then add, and that's doubled. Next we can copy it to 0 again and add, and that's quadruple. Next we can copy it to 0 again and add, and I believe that's that's probably 8. Let me outbox that, and we'll throw the loop on there. Alright, let's see how this goes. So 2 times 8 is 16. There we go. Nine commands, done. Speed, done. E, Z, continue to the elevator. Number 12, tetracontiplier. What a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 40 and then put the result in the outbox. Okay, 40 is not a, a multiple of 2, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. But we will inbox, copy to 0, and add. Now that's multiplied by 2. Next, we will multiply by, well, copy to, let's say, 1, so we can keep stuff up. good. And add, um, this should be one. So that's four. And we'll copy to two and add, and that's oops, add, and that's eight. And what I, I said multiple of 16, I meant to say power of, or multiple of two earlier, I meant to say power of two. Um, next, we will copy to three and add. And that is 16. Oh, okay. Let's try this. If I copy to 4 and add, that is 32. Then I just need to add maybe the 8. So this is 2, 4, 8. Maybe that is good? I don't know. Oh, I can't forget the outbox. Um, let's see, so 5 times 40 is 200. So this should get us 200 if we're lucky. So 20, 40, 80. That's not right. Yes, outbox management expected 200. Alright, step back. Oh, this is cool. We can, like, debug. So, we need to find somewhere where we can multiply things together to get 200. Oh, here we have... Uh, well, I guess we only have ads, don't we? So, at what point can we multiply this by a previous thing? to get to 200. 40 times 10 is 400. Well, that's times. Oh, 160 plus 40 is 200. So this just needs to be add 3 instead. Now I can run this. Oh, now we have a different set of numbers too. Looks like that was right. Dope. Let's speed this up. Alright, let's see how we did in terms of size challenge. 14 commands or fewer. 14. 56 steps or fewer. 56. Continue to elevator. 
Alright, let's go back down and see if we can improve this one. This was my original setup. And let's just run it and see what it says at the end in terms of that second challenge. So size challenge, three commands or fewer. Speed challenge, 25 steps, and I used 30. These challenges can be very difficult and in many cases not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution. If I just grab each thing and drop it into the outbox. If I just do inbox outbox a bunch of times, I'll skip the jump. the jumping command and that will reduce my total number of commands by a third of the commands which is stupid but I don't know how many I need like this is not a good if you were programming you would want it to do the loop how many do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Your solution works for these specific inputs, but fails on other possible inputs. Hmm. Let's okay. Let's clear this then. They clearly didn't want us to break it. What if I inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox, and then loop somewhere in here? That way, the first one is done but then I still drop one of the loops. It did drop my steps. Alright, so if I just do that, So I can loop a bunch of these up here and then make the one loop at the bottom. To reduce my output commands. Yeah. So if I continue to the elevator, does it give me credit for both? Dope. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call that it for the day. We got through 12 of these challenges. Um, this game fuel really helped out. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this. It's a little bit uh, different type of game than a lot of people will play on the internet, which is pretty neat. Oh, I hope you guys, oh, I think I had the audio muted on the game that whole time. So I apologize for um, not having the game audio on during this video. Uh, I also still need to give a review of, or give a final score for the game fuel. And like I said earlier, it's definitely very berry flavored. Well, like berry, like, like it's artificially berry. It's almost too flavorful, but it's not bad in that way so I guess I will give it mm, it's not as good as the Mountain Dew drink that I had last time so I'll, I'll give this a three stars in terms of the flavor so yeah I do really like the uh, resealable top though so you don't have to finish the drink when you're working on it alrighty um, thank you all for watching this video please remember to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one Merch drops next week.